Love has been labelled the Wicked Witch of the West. Born in LA and sent to boarding school in New Zealand, she has courted fame and notoriety as a stripper, actress and musician. Last year, Courtney married Nirvana's Kurt Cobain. Maybe the Sid and Nancy of the 90s, the couple have been constantly hounded and harassed by the gutter press, even through Courtney's subsequent pregnancy. But now she's back with the critically acclaimed band Hole. When Hole came to London recently, I offered them tea and sympathy, and Courtney offered to set the record straight. I didn't hit anybody until sixth grade until this year, and I punched three people so far this year. Like Why? journalists for like attacking, um, trying to break into my house. Um, Trying things that I felt were more def in defending my family than anything else, more than me personally. Since becoming a mother, Courtney's energies have been split between her music and setting up a family home in Seattle with Kurt and her baby, Frances Bean. But controversy continues to follow her. Last month, police arrived at the Cobain home, and Kurt was arrested for allegedly assaulting his wife. What happened there? Oh, we got in a fight? Yeah. Well, we did, we got in a fight. But we, um, we were yelling about something, and then, um, then the we live in this kind of nice neighborhood, and uh, the neighbors called the cops. She's always looking at me, that neighbor, too. She wants the window. Yeah. There's the cruncher. It's mm -hmm. next door. You know, and they have a baby about our age, but they won't let the baby play with our baby. Oh. I, I, I don't, they don't know who we are or anything. They just think we're um, the dirty, dirt asses that live in the store. <laughs> <laughs> the dirt asses with money. <laughs> so, um, they called the cops, and then the cops came. And this one sergeant took me into one room and was like, do you have guns? I'm like, yeah. And the, and the sergeant took Kurt in the room and was like, you have guns? He's like, no. Uh -huh. So that's kind of all that happened. Courtney seems set to earn quite a bit more dirt-assed money. After she turned down Madonna's offer of a deal with Maverick Records, Hall became the subject of a bidding war. We were finally signed by Nirvana's label, Geffen, for a far larger sum than Nirvana themselves, a rare occurrence in the male-dominated rock world. We care about our, our boy rock stars more than our girl rock stars. Boy rock stars we live through, we're all used to that. We want them to fuck a lot of women, drink a lot of wine. What is that REM has like the milk and cookies bus and the women and wine bus? <laughs> like Michael goes on the, you know, the milk and cookies bus and the parts of the crew that are milk and cookies. And then there's the, you know, the wine, women and song bus. Right. And um, I was just like, God, why can't I, you know, why can't girls do that? What are girls supposed to do then? like me, loud ones, Yeah. want to write songs. I remember when I first wanted to start a band, I think I was about 14, and uh, I was thinking, let's start a band that everybody hates. <laughs> Isn't that what punk rock is supposed to be? From the back, oh, this girl, won't you water her rat? A lot of female-led uh, bands have been saying recently that they're not feminist. I mean, what do you think that is? Got to be a fence sitter, because then I've got, you know, like, Juliana Hatfield or yeah. PJ Harvey saying, I'm not a feminist, you know, take me as I am. You know, very Queen Bee-ish and buzzing through and not I'm knocking PJ Harvey um, at all, because I like her a lot, but it's obvious from her music where she's coming from anyway. <laughs> she's flying out of her, through her teeth. You think so? Oh, she's got to be. Listen to some of those lyrics. You know, she's that lying through her teeth. She just does like, she's 23. I mean, I, I guess you're like 18, right? Mm -hmm. Well, hell, I didn't know what to say when I was 23, let alone 18. <laughs> she's making it all up. I think she'll look back on it in five years and realize, oh, shit. I should have not done that. <laughs> but I mean, I look back five years ago and say, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Everyone's listening. 
do it quick. Cause no one cares, my friend. My bed, my bed, I lie in it. I bed, my bed, I lie in it. My bed, my bed, I lie in it. I bed, my bed, I lie in it. Well, thanks very much, Courtney. Thanks, Patty and Kristen and Eric. That was Hole. And now it's time for One Dove on a boat somewhere in the Thames with hopefully someone watching out that they don't crash into any stray ducks or geese.